Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about when to sleep with a guy because there's a lot of confusion out there about when you should sleep with a guy. And so I'm going to clear up some of that right now. And if this is your first time to our channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand side of this video to get more videos on how to have the relationship that you've always wanted. So let's get started. So when should you sleep with a guy? There's, there's a lot of confusion out there about uh, when you should uh, have sex with a guy. Um, it, it, it can be a confusing topic because a lot of women go into having sex with a guy and they don't really think about the consequences of having sex with them. If you want to go and have sex with a guy, obviously, you're free to do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, but, you know, why are you having sex with a guy? So a, a bad reason to have sex with a guy is because you feel obligated or you feel like it's something that you're supposed to do or you're in an awkward situation and you're just sleeping with a guy. Uh, because of one of those reasons. Um, so what are some good reasons? Uh, so what are some things that you want to wait for uh, before you end up having sex with a guy? The first thing that you want to wait for is making sure that you're um, mentally, emotionally, and physically uh, prepared for what might end up happening after you sleep with a guy. So one of the big things that ends up happening with a lot of women who come to me. It's it's one of the number one situations that women come to me with is they end up sleeping with a guy that they they're, they kind of liked a little bit or something. And next thing you know, they're, they've fallen head over heels in love with this dude. And they're like trying to get a commitment from him. But they kind of skipped out on all the other stuff that was involved in kind of the dating process, like, you know, making sure that there aren't any red flags there or, you know, making sure that she was um, actually attracted to him mentally, emotionally, um, and physically um, so that she knew that she was getting into a good long-term situation uh, from the very get-go. So the second thing that you might want to watch for is making sure that you're not doing it because you think that it'll make him happy or you're trying to win him over with this. Uh, one of the things uh, that a lot of women get in their head is that when they end up sleeping with a guy one or multiple times, it create you know they catch feelings and they start feeling more in love and more attracted to a guy. And for a guy, that's not always necessarily what happens. In fact, um, guys are a lot better at kind of creating a divide between their emotional state and sex, right? And so if you're um, if they have sex with you. Uh, they're much less likely to catch feelings and fall in love and go deeper if they're not already in that space where that's what they're looking for with you um, than you are if you end up having sex with him. Um, a lot a lot more of the time women end up catching feelings and feeling deeper and feeling a stronger connection after having sex with a guy um, regardless of of the situation they were in beforehand than a guy has with a woman in that situation. So the third thing that you're gonna to wanna to wait for is, um, and this kind of ties into the one that we were just talking about, is making sure that he falls in love before or he's falling in love before you end up sleeping with him. And so there's, you know, there's a whole bunch of telltale signs. I talk about this in, in tons of other videos and programs and stuff like that. But if a guy is falling in love, you know, you'll start to see him do certain things like um, he, he'll have, he'll start contacting you more often. He'll start initiating contact more often. He'll start um, you know, he'll, he'll feel like he just wants to look at you and just suck in your, uh, you know, uh, you visually, um, you'll notice, uh, you know, there'll be things where he'll, he might have like mental, um, kind of, uh, uh, friction where he's like, um, he's like, God, you know, like, 
I, I don't know, I just like you so much and it's so annoying to me, you know, and, and it's those kind of contradictory things that you'll see where his logical brain and his emotional brain are kind of at conflict and, and he's just like, oh, I don't know why I like you so much, you know, and, and that's um, that's a good sign actually that he's, he's falling in love. It may seem kind of weird uh, to hear or say something like that. But um, yeah, so that's the third sign is that you want to make sure that he's falling in love first because uh, when he falls in love, there's a much higher probability that he's going to stay and that he's going to continue to pursue and chase you and that he's going to want something real with you um, after you have sex. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.